Hello everyone, this is Chini Diwakar and I am from the CyberK YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to create and launch a new instance in your Amazon AWS cloud. Okay, so in the last video, I have shown you how to create an Amazon AWS account and if you don't know how to do that, please go to that particular video. The video link will be in the description or in the card. So check this out. After that, you come here and if you already created a Amazon AWS account, now let's proceed okay so here what you do is uh, as soon as you log into the amazon aws this is how it will look like so what you have to do is uh, come to compute because we are using cloud computing uh, thing actually not cloud storage or something like that so we use cloud computing so we select ec2 ec means elastic something like that will be there so you click on that ec2 which is your cloud computing maybe elastic computing or something so when you receive this uh, you can see that there are no instances running if you instances is nothing but a virtual machine which is running on the cloud so that you can easily access for now there are no instances because it's new account okay so by default you will be having no things actually as i'm already using it so i have some things there some things there whereas by default you will be having all the zeros like this okay so what you do is as i there, is, there are no instances running let's create an instance and let's let's launch it so i'll click on launch instance as there are no instances it will help us to create an instance so what i'll do is i'll select free tier only so that i can see only free uh, virtual machines actually so we can select whichever kind of thing you want amazon linux suse linux red hat linux or ubuntu server microsoft windows Server 2016 all these things you can choose anything whichever you like you can choose so what i'm doing is i'm gonna select the older version yeah like this there is nothing older than windows Server 2003 so what i'll do is i'll select this okay so here we have option to select 32 bit 64 bit also which is not available for others so i'm going to select 64 bit and then click on select so it's going to give me some uh, details which one you want to uh, you know use like that uh, there is only one thing which is eligible for free tier so you can see that here uh, i don't want to pay additional amount of money so that i'm going to proceed with free tier whereas if you want some professional services or some corporate solutions then you can uh, you know uh, go for any other let's say like here it is only giving one cpu and uh, one gb of ram whereas if you want more you can you can just see four uh, cpu 16 gb ram eight process 32 gb ram like that there are multiple others available you can pick whatever you want whereas i'm going to proceed with free tier so what I'll do is I'll select that particular uh, free tier eligible thing and then I click on review and launch. So this is going to give you again an overview of all the options what have you selected. What server you have selected, what kind of device it is, what kind of virtualization it uses and CPUs, memory, how much it uses and everything else like that. So instant details, instant name and everything, network, all the details. Storage, by default it gets 30 GB of data, yeah 30 GB of hard disk, virtual hard disk and uh, it's not encrypted whatever data you store on the target will not be encrypted okay so like that you can uh, you know review all the settings whatever you have if you want to edit anything you can edit using that details stuff i don't recommend that for the starters so just keep it like that and click on launch so to connect to this particular amazon aws you should have some uh, secret communication encrypted communication so to do that amazon helps you uh, to create public private key pairs so that you can make a secure communication with the cloud storage so that people hackers can't tamper with it so right now as i told you this is a new account this doesn't have any uh, any of the key pairs for now so i'm going to create one so by default it gives you choose an existing key pair as there are no key pairs it won't work so select it that list and then click on create a new key pair and then give a, a new key pair name let's say like for this i'm going to give aws key then i click on download key pair you need to save that key pair in your pc like that uh, i have a aws key.pem file downloaded okay then 
uh, so you have to download the pm file private key pm file before you can continue store it is in secure and accessible location because every time in future if you want to make a communication it will ask you that pm file without that you can't make a communication anyhow you can download it multiple times by logging in here that's another matter so create like that all you have to do is select create a new key pair give whatever name you want and click on download key pair and then click on launch instances now this is going to take some time actually because the virtual machine has to be created and it has to boot so for all of that it takes a lot of time and uh, what you can do is if you you know if you wait here nothing happens okay you can't know when it starts everything like that so what i suggest you is uh, go to this particular thing console home you click on that to go to console home and uh, click on ec2 so you will be going towards ec2 dashboard okay so here click on the running instances so you can see how it is going right now it is running the middle one so let it go actually let it let it take some time around 15 minutes 20 minutes let it be and after that you come and you can launch it so i'm gonna give a pause here because i don't want to make you wait till that long time so just give it some time i'm gonna pause it now and then you know after once it is started i will show you okay so meanwhile if you if you like this video you may also like my other videos so go to youtube.com slash the cyber care and there are a bunch of other videos available for your you know for knowledge purposes so related to hacking and information security and all so take a look you may like them okay so if you like this video give a like or if you don't like it give a uh, you know dislike and if you want to know any other kind of things actually you can just uh, you know comment in the comment box so that I, I can know and if any doubts are there just ask me in the comment session so that i can reply back to you so let me keep in the pause right now there you go guys if you just observe earlier uh, before the pause actually this was like uh, initialization something like that message right right now it shows that two slash two checks completed like that yeah passed so which means it is completely initiated and uh, well and good so now all you have to do to launch this is select that machine which you want to launch and then click on uh, get windows password that is important right so once you connect to that windows it will definitely ask you username and password and this will give you the username and password and if you are doing this before this two by two checks coming which means right now it's completed i got tick mark and now i can get the windows password but if you do this before then you will get this kind of error message telling that password not available yet please wait at least four minutes etc like that so that's what i'm saying give it around 15 minutes or 20 minutes now you have observed right how long i've been waiting in the time so you can you know observe how long it made me wait then you can wait accordingly okay so don't force it anyhow it will not give it even if you force so once it comes like this then go to actions select that and go to actions click on get windows password now it's gonna ask you give me the key pair okay so the key pair name is aws key and earlier you have downloaded a file dot, dot pem file right so click on choose file and then select that dot P, pem file actually so come here and check out yeah here it is aws dot pem you click open that is very important actually so you select that particular file and click on decrypt password then the password decryption successful and uh, okay the password for the instance is successfully decrypted so it's it suggests you that change password immediately that's a you know basic recommendation everyone else does actually so what's the password oh my god this is really really bad password so I'm gonna use a notepad for this because I'm really bad at passwords. So username is administrator, administrator, and password is copy. Try copying properly, no spaces, nothing else extra. Okay, so so that's it. So get the username and password. This is very important. Okay, without this, even if you create an instance, you can't connect to it. So click on close now we have the username and password we have a machine up and running now let's connect to it all you have to do is click on the big connect button over there 
so this will download uh, this will help you to download a remote desktop file click on the remote desktop file download you'll be getting this kind of ec2 something 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 okay then it also gives you the username and password click on get password again key file you have to upload and for example like aws pm decrypt password again the same password okay so like that download the de remote desktop file and get the password okay then you can close it happily and uh, open this uh, file ec2 dot file actually double click on it it will directly connect to that see don't ask again connect it may ask you username and password yes don't ask me for connections once it is connected it will ask you to enter username and password there you go the password i can't copy it so what i'll do is i can type it i can type it like this uh, semicolon percentile f equals to tt z d semicolon t f and i click on ok there you go you have a full fledged windows server 2003 machine running on the cloud not on your computers this doesn't require your host resources it's completely based on the internet cloud actually all you need to access this one is a good internet connection so these are the public ip address private ip address actually you can right now create uh, running services etc etc on this cloud server because it's a server right so you can start building web servers ftp servers etc etc and you can use the public ip address and private ip address to co make communications out there to the internet it's it's up to your wish now okay so how to uh, run a web server in this amazon ec2 in the server uh, i'll be showing in the next video okay so for now have fun go into the machine and see what it can do for you and not just this try the others also as i am very much scared about that payment all that particular thing actually so i haven't touched them uh, i'll see which one is uh, gonna give me a free access and I'll, I'll make video on that so meanwhile play with it and try uh, something whatever you want to do with the cloud okay so i'll also make a video next video i'm gonna make uh, on how to make your own laptop as a uh, cloud machine actually uh, cloud storage device okay you know dropbox you know google drive so in the coming video i'm going to tell you how to turn your laptop or your computer or your server itself into a cloud storage device okay so that's all for this video have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe this video so that as soon as i post something you will be getting notification also recently that that bell kind of stuff actually click on that so that you will get notifications okay so that's all for this video have a nice day and nice weekend like or dislike so that i can know whether you like it or not thanks have a nice day bye bye